Hey y'all, I'm Lauren and welcome to Cantina Cast. Today I'm doing my pre-release video of Temptation of the Force by Tessa Gratton. This novel will be published on June 11th, so this video is going to be completely spoiler free and I'm really just kind of talking about what you can expect from this novel. Now this is the second adult release from the High Republic Phase 3, so if you've been following phase three of the High Republic, then you do want to be caught up before you read this book. Most importantly, you want to make sure that you've read Eye of Darkness by George Mann, which was the first uh, adult novel of phase three, because this novel really picks up as kind of like a continuation of that book. One thing I did really appreciate about this novel is I feel like Tessa Grattan did a great job of continuing the story that George Mann started. One thing that has happened with High Republic before, at least the way I have felt, is sometimes I'll feel like I'm reading a book that's like a completely different book than the book before it. And I'm like, these characters are totally different. Who am I supposed to be following? Like, what is this overarching story? With this book, that is not the case. It is very clearly a continuation of the story of the same exact characters, from Eye of Darkness. So we're following Avar Chris and Elzar Man. We're following Bel Zedifar. We're also following Guriaga. So we're getting a continuation of those storylines. We also have, I don't want to say a spoiler for Eye of Darkness for anyone that hasn't read Eye of Darkness, but there was a cliffhanger at the end of Eye of Darkness. You probably know who I'm talking about if you've read that book. That does get addressed in this book as well, the fate of that particular character. So this book is very much just picking up right where Eye of Darkness left off. And only a few months have actually passed. So that all contributes very much to that feeling of we're just continuing the same story that George Mann already started off. So I really appreciated that about this novel. Something else just to keep in mind about this is not only do you want to make sure that you've read Eye of Darkness, you also want to make sure that you're caught up on the High Republic comics. With Phase 3, the comics have been much more closely related to the novels. Now, if you're not really into comics and you don't really want to read those, it's not like you're going to not understand what's going on. You'll still be able to follow the story. My only thing is, I personally, and this is just probably just like a personal taste thing, if I'm reading something and something that sounds like a pretty big event happened off the page and it's just briefly mentioned I'm always kind of like well what the heck that should have happened on the page well with High Republic a lot of times if you have that feeling a lot of times it did happen on the page in the comics so if you feel like there are certain things that you want to know like the full story on instead of just being kind of given the highlights then make sure that you read the High Republic comics because that is something that seems to be pretty common in phase three. Now I do have to say, um, if you've read Defy the Storm, which is the YA novel, the first YA novel from phase three, things that were mentioned and started off in that story do come up in Temptation of the Force. However, if you're not reading the YA novels and you don't want to read Defy the Storm, you're still going to be able to follow Temptation of the Force. Really, the High Republic authors do a good job of if you don't read one of the stories or one of the comics, they do a good job of making it to where you're still able to follow what's going on. And the author, like Tessa Grattan, will give you, just like George Mann did in Eye of Darkness, Tessa Grattan will give you the highlights of what you need to know of things that you may have missed in other books. So you'll still be able to follow it. I just know for me personally, I hate when I read something that an author explains in one paragraph that feels like it should have been like a really big deal. So if you're like me and you get frustrated by that, then make sure that you're caught up on the other High Republic stuff. Because if you're not, you're going to be like, this event deserved a lot more than a paragraph when really it did get more of a paragraph somewhere else. So it's really the only thing to keep in mind. But if that kind of thing doesn't bug you and you're not really too concerned about that, then you could just at least read Eye of Darkness by George Mann. That's the must read and at least read the Shadows of Starlight comic. I feel like that one is one of those ones that it would be kind of tough to not have read that one. 
But if you've at least read those two things, then you should be able to follow the story and know for the most part the the main plot points of what's going on. I am going to wait to share any of my more specific thoughts about the book. I'm going to share that once the book is actually out. But what I will say is if you're following the High Republic, you pretty much have to read this book. Uh, otherwise, you're missing like a huge chunk of the story, of course, just like with Eye of Darkness. I mean, we're following our main characters. We're following Avar and Elzar, finding out more what's going on with them two. Also, Bell and Burry, other two pretty prominent, important characters in the High Republic. We're following them pretty closely as well. So if you're interested in High Republic, if you've been following it, you have to read this book. Regardless of how I personally feel about the book, like my personal opinions, to me, it being a must read for the High Republic, that's just not even debatable. But let me know in the comments if you're planning on reading this one and what you've been thinking of phase three of the High Republic so far. I've been enjoying phase three overall, but sometimes I'm kind of feeling like, how are they going to wrap all of this up in time? I feel like we've got a lot of storylines going. And I feel like that does continue in Temptation of the Force. So it'll be interesting to see how, how exactly they're going to pull this off as we're getting further into phase three. But thanks so much for joining y'all. I hope that y'all have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys.